It's Ashley from AP Freewriting, and I'm just coming today to tell you about my Maximize Your Morning Challenge that I've been participating in this month. Um, Michelle over at So I Married a Mennonite hosted it, and we got together each week to recap how our visits were going, or how our week was going, and um, just to encourage one another. And then also on Twitter every day, we'd get on with the Hello Mornings hashtag and just encourage one another, check in. And it's been a great challenge. Um, I have some extra friends this morning helping me today. And I just wanted to kind of give a recap of the whole challenge. Um, I kind of bit off a big chunk at the beginning and jumped in head first. And because of that, I did burn out about halfway through, but I managed to recover from that, taking smaller steps the second half as Kat um, over at Inspired to Action would have encourage us to do and yes my kids are waving this is David and Jenny um, you'll hear me talk about them in the blog sometimes and if you're on Twitter you see lots of mentions about them um, but some of the things I learned were when you exercise you need to eat more <laughs> um, I found that I was really tired a lot and so that made it hard to get up in the mornings but I wasn't eating anymore and I had increased my exercise by about two miles every few days. So that made a big difference in my ability to maximize my mornings. Um, I also found out that starting, which I kind of knew, but starting the day off in the Word has been a huge, huge difference maker in my attitude throughout the day. Um, just having that right perspective throughout to start my day helps me to go throughout my day. Um, bringing things to God, remembering that I need to submit to Him all day, um, that He is in control. Um, I found there was a couple days in a row this past week that I didn't get into the Word um, just because I wasn't maximizing my mornings. And I really found about halfway through the day that all of a sudden I was just stressed out, I was overwhelmed, things were just piling up, and I wasn't being able to handle them. And as soon as I took it to God, I was like, it just... I mean, it, the problems didn't go away, but also my perspective changed. And I think that was the biggest thing this week that hit me was just to be in the Word daily, to start my day off remembering who God is, submitting um, everything that I have going on in my life to Him, letting, or, you know, acknowledging that He is in control, that He will work everything out the way He wants to, and just allowing Him to do that, and then um, asking Him for the things I do need for the day. Um, one of the biggest things on my list has been energy and endurance because with the increased activity, um, my body that's obviously taking a lot out on my body, and so I was being very tired. I've actually fallen asleep multiple times in the last couple of weeks when I normally would not have been sleeping, like going to bed at 7.30 at night because I just was so exhausted and couldn't even stay awake that any longer. Um, but yeah, so... Hopefully I'll start eating more as I continue to keep this up so that that doesn't become an issue. But um, yeah, so really I just wanted to say this challenge has been really good. It's taught me a lot of things about myself and just about um, how to maximize my mornings. I did not finish reading the ebook. I was I realized this week um, I didn't get around to the part about the planning, but I do have a master plan in place right now as far as my daily schedule. And that's something that I'm going to strive to kind of live along the guidelines of. Um, obviously, you can't do too much structure or you get burned out. At least I do because of my personality. But just to have some kind of a thing where I want to get the, you know, so many things accomplished each day. And it's going to be different each day. But um, just to have some kind of a goal each morning when I get up of things I want to get accomplished. Obviously, submitting it to God and saying, okay, God, you tell me what you want me to accomplish. But... That's kind of me in a nutshell, my challenge in a nutshell. I can plan to continue um, checking in with the Hello Mornings girls on Twitter um, over the course of the next few months and just encouraging one another as we continue to maximize our mornings. If you didn't get a chance to participate in the challenge this time around, let me know in the comments if you'd like to do that and we could possibly host one here on this blog um, in the months to come. It probably will be October before I can participate fully again as uh, this next month's going to be crazy busy for us as we get ready to move. Um, we're closing the end of September, we're hoping, um, so that's going to be a crazy time in our life, but if you pray for us in that, that'd be wonderful. I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed with everything there's to do, but yeah, anyway. So, yeah, if you want to participate in the challenge, um, I would, you know, you can either do it on your own, go over to Kat's website, I'll leave the link below, and check in with her. 
or um, I can host one here on this blog in a few months if that's something that um, enough of you are interested in. So give me a give me a shout in the comments, and I will hope to see you around. I hope you all have had a great month. Bye.